Hey everybody, I'm Chef Will. I'm here today to teach you how to make everybody's favorite comfort food, which is macaroni and cheese. I know that was my favorite dish when I was a little kid growing up. When I was feeling a little sad, my mom would definitely make me a giant bowl of macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it from scratch instead of just buying the little box on the wall um, and mixing it all together. It's a lot tastier when you make it from home and it's awesome because you started something that was in components of just dry noodles and a block of cheese and then you made this delicious creamy cheddar cheese sauce that will be ooey and gooey all over those lovely noodles and it's just going to be so wonderful. Um, first we're going to wash our hands though and we're going to wash our hands for 20 seconds. So you guys can count with me if you want to, feel free to. We're gonna turn on the hot water, as hot as you can take it. And then I got my little skull soap here. So we're gonna put some soap on our hands. Uh, rub vigorously in between our fingers, over our hands, around our wrists, right? Make sure we rub it really well. The water is nice and warm and hot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, all right, 20, 21, 22, a couple of extra seconds in there, doesn't hurt anybody, just in case I counted too quickly. So now that we got our hands all washed, we're going to dry them off. With our favorite towel, or just a simple towel. All right, so our, now that our hands are all nice and clean, we are going to put on our first Layer of protection when we're using a knife. All right, make sure you get permission to use a knife from your parents or your staff. All right, this is very sharp and you can hurt yourself. But right here, we're gonna bring our cut glove. So that will gonna be our first layer of defense against cutting. So we're gonna put on our cut glove here and that will help protect me from getting hurt. And then we're going to put a glove on. If you don't have one, that's okay. Well, we're going to put a plastic glove on just for a little extra little layer and not to get food on our nice cut glove. You can find these gloves at Smart and Final. They have them there. That's where I get them from. And so now that we have our gloves on, we are going to measure out our water. And so we're going to grab our package of macaroni and we're going to read it. And it says here that we need two quarts of water. Very small print here. Hopefully a bigger bag will have bigger print for you. But the directions say we're going to put two quarts of water, hot water. So the way we measure it out, we have our measuring cup. This one is for measuring liquid. So right here we can see that four cups equal one quart. And we need two of them. So that means I already have this one filled with water. And over here I already filled one for us in my pan. So we're going to get a nice big pan that can hold all this water. And we're going to bring it up to a boil. All right guys, so we're gonna bring this to a boil like I said, right? So we're gonna start off at a pretty high medium heat. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of salt. I already put one in here earlier. So we're just going to fill it. Oops. About a tablespoon of salt. So that was actually two of them. And we're gonna give it a little stir. 
with our wooden spoon. And that's gonna help uh, flavor our pasta. So now that our water is in there, we're waiting for that to come to a boil. We're gonna work on our cheese. So here, I got our cheddar cheese. This is how we're going to make our cheese sauce. And what's awesome about this, there's a lot of different kinds of cheddar cheese. You have white cheddar cheese, you have yellow cheddar cheese, you have cheddar cheese, medium cheddar cheese, and sharp cheddar cheese. And all that simply means is how strong of a flavor you're going for. If you get a mild cheddar cheese, that means it's going to be soft. It's not really going to have much flavor. Um, if you go for a medium cheddar cheese, it has some chance to age. And with that age and what that means is when it has time to sit and uh, do its thing and dance all over and get those, those taste buds going, um, it'll move on to sharp cheddar, which has been aging for about two years. Um, there's a special technique what they do to keep it safe for us to eat. And so when I use sharp cheddar cheese because it has all the flavor. It's the one in, one in a billion, you know, just that excellent, excellent flavor. So right here we're going to use our box cutter. And uh, our box grater. And we're going to simply just take the cheese. So this is where the knife would come in handy is you would take the knife and you carefully place it on top with your hand out of the way and you just press it down okay and so when that's done we're gonna move our knife out of the way and we're gonna simply just take our cheese and we're looking to grate it take your time here nice and easy we're just slowly gonna do this And when I'm grating through these holes here, you can see now that it went from this block to our shredded cheese. And we're gonna do this until we can measure out four cups. So when you get to a really small piece, you're gonna switch it out for the bigger piece. Just carefully Grate your cheese. All right, guys, now that we have finished grating our cheese, I got about four cups here. And so how we measure our dry ingredients, we take it and since it's filled, we gotta press it in there nice and gently. But just make sure that it's even. Kind of pack it in there. When you're grating and you have some of these little nugs, don't worry about it, it's fine. It'll melt down when we put it in our sauce. So that's how we measure our dry ingredients. And so, put it back in our big bowl here. And so now, we're going to move on to a different kind of cheese. And this is cream cheese. So what we put on our bagels, or make cheesecakes with. Um, this one is actually white. And this one is what's gonna make it all nice and creamy. And give it a little kind of, different kind of that zingy taste. So here, we're gonna turn on our stove again. Kind of to a medium sized heat here. Looks like our water is about to come to a boil. That's good. So once that water comes to a boil, we're going to dump our pasta in there. And the reason why you want it to come to a boil is uh, you want all those bubbles to move that pasta around so it doesn't get stuck to each other. And that means that it's going to be cooking at the hottest temperature and it's going to cook a lot faster. So now we got our dry pasta and we're going to safely, very carefully, Dump that in. Be very careful. Okay, and then we're going to give it a quick stir. 
to help it out so it doesn't stick to each other. Alright, so we got that stir. We're going to wait for it to come to a boil again. And then once it comes to a boil, we're going to set our timer for 10 minutes. But I'm going to teach you a trick. That's what the bag says, but actually don't cook it until 10 minutes. Cook it for about 6 to 7 minutes because we're actually going to cook it into our sauce. And that's going to add all the flavor into our pasta as well. Just like the salt that's going to go into the pasta when it absorbs that water and becomes a soft noodle. Because right now it's very hard and tough and that's not very good. So right now when we put it in the water we're going to tenderize it. And what that means is the noodle is going to be nice and soft and very good to eat. So that's what we're doing. We're waiting for our pasta to come to a boil. We put our cream cheese in our pan and we're simply gonna just melt that down till it gets nice and soft. So I got about eight ounce of cream cheese here. So once you see that it's getting nice and warm and easy to spread we're going to add our milk and our butter so, so right here it's coming very nicely together you can see how it's thinning out So now we're actually going to switch to our whisk. So this is our whisk. This is what's going to help blend all our cheese and our milk together. Also bring in some air to make it fluffy. So we're gently going to pour in our cup of milk here, except for I'm going to start off with just a half a cup first, because we can always add more if we need it. So right now we have a half a cup in there. We're slowly going to just mix this in. And as it heats up, it will melt the cream cheese. Kind of help thicken it up a little bit here. And just give it a nice little stir. With our whisk and what that whisk is doing is breaking up the lumps of cream cheese right now you can see that it's starting to get thicker because of our cream cheese you can see that it's the milk has pretty much vanished and that's because the milk melted into the cream cheese it all came together because of our magic whisk here So I think we're going to add a little bit more milk here. So I'm actually going to refill in the rest of our milk mixture here. And I'm just going to whisk it in until everything is smooth and comes together. Alright guys, see? nice and smooth it's not too thick that's what we're looking for all right and so now we're going to mix in our cheese so here we're going to measure out a cup again And we're going to dump it in here. And this will melt at around 150 degrees or so. And the way you know that is I use a thermometer. This is very good. It takes the guessing out of cooking. It tells me what temperature. So right now in the room it's 80 degrees. That's pretty hot. So we're going to stick it in our food and you can see that the temperature of it is rising 
and we're already at 130 degrees and increasing. So as soon as that temperature gets to about 150 degrees, this cheese is going to melt and become nice and creamy. So you're going to stir and what that stirring do is going to help mix and melt that cheese faster. So we're going to give our pasta a little stir again, make sure it's not sticking. Be careful when you stir. And our cheese sauce is coming together quite nicely here. We're actually going ahead and add another cup of cheese. So yeah! And so again, we're going to wait for this to come to a boil. Or come together, I mean. guys our cheese has melted very nicely into this you can see how nice our cheese sauce is beautiful look at that our pasta is about to be done with our timer that we set for about seven minutes there it is I'm gonna turn off our timer give our pasta a quick little stir to make sure it's not stuck to the bottom and then we're going to come to the sink with it where I have a colander Alright guys, so before you take the pot off the stove, make sure you put your oven mitts on. And we're going to put it in our colander, which has a bunch of holes in it, and that's what's going to drain our water out of our pasta. We're going to carefully pour it into our colander. And it's okay, we have a little bit of noodles stuck on the bottom, but that's nothing that our little spoon can't get out. Because we're actually going to add this pasta back into our pot once it drains. So careful of the steam, just going to give it a nice little shake to make sure we get all that extra water out of there. And then we're going to put it back into our pot. Alright guys, once you safely bring back the pasta to the pot, we're going to add in our butter. So we cut it in half, but you can see that has measurements on here. So this was the other half of butter that I'm not using. You can see that it reads the tablespoons and cup measurements. So this one I'm actually using a quarter cup of butter. We're going to put that in our macaroni. So it's going to help the, the pasta from sticking to each other. And give it extra flavor bring in that richness taste because honestly who doesn't love butter but if you don't want butter you don't need to add it just like if you don't want salt you don't need to add salt salt just brings extra flavor it, it like brings the party to your mouth it wakes up your taste buds and that's what helps you taste your food are your little taste buds on your tongue and when you add salt, it brings out all your taste buds, your sour, your sweetness, your salty. You use all those different kinds of taste buds to taste your food. And it tells you what kind of food it is, whether it's sweet or if it's savory. So now we have our pasta pretty well covered here with our butter. We're going to bring our cheese sauce into our pasta look at that beautiful cheese sauce guys look at that you don't get that out of a box right how awesome is that so we're slowly going to ladle our sauce into our pasta so we'll start off with a couple of ladles here oh beautiful look at that right look at that beautiful sauce then we're going to give it a nice stir again 
so we can cover our beautiful pasta with our sauce. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to taste this, guys. I wish you guys were here with me so you can taste it too. But I'll make sure to post the recipe for you guys as well. So you guys can make this at home. Just hope this video will show you guys how easy it is to do this. And I look forward to you telling me that you guys made this. So look at that, right? And we got a rest of our cheese sauce that we're going to carefully spoon in there. Alright. Alright guys, look at that. Right? Doesn't that look yummy? But wait, there's more guys. There's more. Just when you think you had all the cheese, I don't think so. We're gonna add more cheese. We're gonna make this cheese heaven here. You can see how beautiful our cheese is. And what's really cool too, is you can actually put this in the oven and you can bake it by putting some breadcrumbs on top and some extra cheese. Um, but this one, we're just simply gonna put it in a bowl because I can't wait that long. This looks too good. Okay guys, I wish you can smell how cheesy this smells. It's fantastic. And this is a very simple, easy recipe. So we're simply going to put our mac and cheese on our plate here. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. You're not gonna get that out of a box. Look at that guys, look at all that cheese in there. Nice and creamy. And like I promised you, you put more cheese on your mac and cheese. Alright, look at that. Look at that beautiful masterpiece. So now, we're going to taste it. We're going to wait for it to cool off first a little bit. So stir it all in there. Look at that. All that beautiful cheese. And what's fun too is if you use four cups of cheese and you want different kinds of cheese, you just sub it out. You can have pepper jack one cup, you can have jack cheese one cup, cheddar one cup, smoked gouda for one cup. You can play around with this any way you want. Add so many different kinds of cheese that you can make it your own recipe. Alright guys, here we go. We're going to give it a nice little blow here. Mmm. Oh wow. Oh guys, I hope you make this. This is so good. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys make this mac and cheese. It's super good. Thank you.